Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Part one. White clouds. Ethereal moon. The cause of sorrow. Right. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the blue sea star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Anyway, last time, <clears throat> we went to Ramire Village and it was being attacked by the Flame Emperor's minion, Solon, who was disguised as the librarian Tomas. Oh, and we beat the Death Knight. Um, Sorry to trouble you. Alois, uh, yeah, you can just have some flowers uh, Thursday. Ash would like to speak with you, sure. Hey, Professor, did I ever tell you what happened with that thief? Uh, no. What happened? I went after him, and I did manage to catch up, but... He escaped? Oh, no. I captured him easily. I'm pretty quick on my feet, you know. But I decided not to make him pay for the book. <laughs> my pockets were pretty empty after that incident, if you want to know the truth. Well, what happened was, when I caught him, I asked him why he stole the book. He said he thought it would fetch a good price, and that he really needed the money. He had a sick kid and couldn't pay for medicine. Hmm. He didn't look old enough to have children. No, oh, maybe you're right. But if he really did have a sick child, that would be a matter of life and death. A little money is nothing compared to that. I'd rather believe a lie than risk someone's life if I'm wrong. Huh. And to be completely honest, there was a time when I wasn't so different from him. You were a thief? It was a long time ago, and I've put all that behind me now. But yes, I was. My parents died of illness, so I had to provide for my little brother and sister. I did my best to earn money for them legitimately, but I wasn't able to bring home enough. So I turned to thieving. From people on the streets, from shops, even from soldiers. I knew it was wrong, but seeing my brother and sister's smiling faces made me too happy to stop. I couldn't imagine what that must have been like. I can't judge him for that. I really regret that part of my life. I was stupid. But shortly after I turned nine, I crept into a local noble's mansion, aiming to steal whatever I could get my hands on. The noble had all sorts of valuables, but what really caught my eye was a book with a fancy cover. That book was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. The night in the illustrations was so impressive I just couldn't tear my eyes away. Interesting. You probably see where this is going. Moments after I grabbed the book, I was caught in the act by the noble. And that noble was none other than Lenato. I was putting but two Lenato and two was together. Incredibly kind. Without asking any questions, he gave me the book. And money, too. When I told him I couldn't read, he invited me into his mansion, along with my brother and sister. He taught me how to read, personally. So... With the thief I caught in town, I was trying to do the same thing. To be like Lenato. I want to make up for the bad things I've done. To leave this world better than I found it. That's why, even if it wasn't easy on my pockets, I'm proud to say I helped him. Hmm. Are you sure you did the right thing? I know what you're trying to say. My contribution probably won't change much. And it's not like I have the money to help everyone who's suffering from poverty. Even so, I can't bear to stand by and do nothing. What else could I have done, Professor? Hmm. 
That's interesting. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. Was something stolen? No. There is nothing of value in that building. We do not yet know what the intruder's objectives are. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Which knight? Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. Gerald. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Gerald has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. We have a prologue. A couple of them. Ash and Catherine. Sotis and her. Both only available to the 22nd. Uh, let's do this one first. Falling short of heaven. There you are. I have a request for you. What is it? It has to do with that plot to assassinate Lady Rhea. The bishop leading the Western Church was somehow involved. Enough is enough. So now the Knights of Saros have been tasked with putting the bishop down. I thought you and your students could come with us. Why? Because you wield the sword of the Creator. Lady Rhea is going to personally execute the bishop. I have been appointed as her guard. And what authority does she have the right to execute anyone? I want your help protecting her. So, what do you say? Will you come? Yes. Um, excuse me. I'd like to come along. Ash, you were listening in? Yes, apparently. It's not up to you whether you can come along. Please, this is important to me. Your adoptive father, Lord Lonato, had connections to the Western Church. I understand that you want answers. But our objective is to punish, not to investigate. We can't let you jeopardize the mission. I won't get in the way. I promise. Hmm. What do you say, Professor? Keep in mind, we would be bringing the whole class, not just Ash. What? Well. Well, let's go. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess it's fine. Get ready then. I can make them jump. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's take a look at the map. There's Rhea. 
Oh god, there's fog. Okay. I don't know what that does. along for the battle. Well, let's do it. There she is, a sneaky little witch trying to pass herself off as the goddess's envoy. Archbishop Rhea, I'll bring judgment upon you in the goddess's stead. I'm using the fog as cover to ambush us. What yeah, a I see boy. that. It won't do any good to get annoyed, Catherine. That voice. We are up against a faction of bishops. They've shown themselves at least, so we won't have to go to the trouble of finding them. All right, you got a death wish? Come at me! You really want to fight against Thunder, Catherine? Please, Professor, don't let Lady Rhea get hurt. Our mission isn't just to wipe out all the enemies, but also to protect Lady Rhea. Ready? Yeah. So let's do this. Stay focused. Ready. Defenseless, are we? <laughs> you weren't ready. Nice. should I do? Here we go! I'll give it my all. Here goes! I'm on it. I'll go. I'll cut through. I'll crush them all. Let them come. You're weak. Ah, not good enough.
had to be done. can trade Thunderbrand to him. No, that's actually very tempting. I have held back. All for Lady Rhea. As expected. I'll keep it up. Seems that taking out the priest has stopped the reinforcements coming over here. We should be able to stop the reinforcements coming from the other side by taking care of the other priest. Good to know. But these troops are not leaving your side because they need.
Crusades will suffer the punishment of the goddess! That's it. Too slow. for greatness. Never back down. They will not be able to send any more troops now. Let us sweep up the stragglers. Good work, Lady Rhea. Let's round them up and cut them down. I know where he is at least. Oh, there's more <laughs> coming in. <laughs> Next time, bring your friends.
you shall not be forgiven. Sometimes. Apostates, you sully the name of the goddess. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. You are the apostates. The goddess is with me. So we have a few more lingering nuisances. Goddess, have mercy. Forgive them their sins and save their souls. It would have been better if we'd captured the bishop, but they didn't make it easy for us. What now, Lady Rhea? We must go to the headquarters of the Western Church. Perhaps there is still someone there who knows what has transpired. Let us help, too. It may not be much, but we'll do whatever we can. I am sure you will be a great help. I am glad to have you by my side. interesting thanks professor I really appreciated your help with the investigation that's it for today head back to Garrig mock the church will have to choose a new bishop and do whatever else is necessary to rebuild the Western Church Lady Rhea is grateful to all of you she said she would send along a reward you should feel very proud receiving a gift directly from Lady Rhea is exceedingly rare still that was a real mess huh for them to come out and charge us so boldly. Well, I'm glad we made it out. As am I. We kept Lady Rhea safe, thanks to you. Hey, where did Ash go? I haven't seen him for a while. That may be it. I hope he's not getting in the way. There you are, Ash. We were just talking about... Why the brooding expression? Hey, what's that bundle of papers in your hand? This was given to me. It has to do with my family. Is it about Lenato? I haven't finished reading it all yet. But I think it might offer some clues about something I need to know. Professor, Catherine, thank you for letting me come with you on this mission. I'd better get ready to go. It's a little painful to watch. I do hope that those papers, whatever they are, will help him get over his past. I suppose it's time for us to start heading back to the monastery.
I can make it jump by hitting the B button. Doesn't seem like it actually lets me do anything other than let the little thing jump, though. Go ahead and instruct manually, why not? Axes and heavy armor. Wow. You wanted magic. Something you're already extremely skilled at. I need to get you able to use that Levin sword. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> I'll get. Yes. Yeah. And now Ingrid. Still flying and lance skills. Okay. Oh yeah, you're in my class now. I have to ask you. Use the fight as an opportunity to teach him. I think I get it. A wyvern rider. Uh, no, you are my sniper. Uh, is that little shut-in girl? Let's host a tea party for her. Um, something sweet. What is it? Did I do something wrong? Of course not. You're an intellectual. Uh, classes you might enjoy. What? Uh, no. This was great. It's good to see you come out of your shell a little bit. We can handle it. Sure. Nice to have help for once. It's always you two doing the skywalk. Here's what are you talking result. about? You did good. We have a master archer in Ash. Each new experience is an asset. There's so much left to learn. A warning shot. It's all coming together. Excalibur. And we have another prologue. But I'm going to end this one here, but let's go through my certifications first.
Because I think I can make you an archer now, a sniper now. Yes! You still need to get better at riding before I can make you a paladin. And you want it to be a warlock for some reason. But you still need to get better at reason. Oh my god, you are precious in that. You can be a warlock! Let's do it. I can go ahead and buck myself up to mercenary. Let's do it. A new path to tread. I'm out of advanced seals for that. I could also make you a warrior if you get high enough axe skills. You're right where you want to be. The only thing I could see you going at, and it's better than that, is the mortal savant, but you need higher reason. But yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I go check out this next paralogue. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.